camera's all good at the back. We've got assistant oh. coach Jean Patel. Are you ready? Mike. Mike. Nick. Tiga. Thank you. David Charles, go ahead, please. Uh, it was a hard day, yeah. It was a grafting day. I think we thought the wicket might offer a bit more this morning, and it um, it didn't really. I suppose maybe the older ball, our ball got quite soft for some reason. We changed it a few times, but a hard day, yeah. The boys worked really, really hard, and they got their rewards at the end of it. Um, you know, I've, we've got to congratulate the fact that those guys stuck at it the way they did. And then cricket's a bit like that, isn't it? You do it, you do the tough times, time and time. You do the hard stuff time and time again. You eventually get your your rewards. And to have made down tonight it was a hell of an effort. That obviously made a wonderful result of the bowling. Um, maybe stops celebrating a bit of fashion, but it shows up how ugly he is as a like as an all rounder as well. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, he's a freak, isn't he? You know, he comes on. From, it was almost written in the stars that he was going to bowl a Jaffa first up and get Rohit Sharma out. He was on 100. But, um, yeah, it, it, we all know how he can round our attack out, um, especially in conditions like these where you've got usually two spinners, two seamers, and then you want your third and Stokesy. So it was nice to see him back at the crease. Just got to be careful that we don't push him too far. You know, it's still early days for him, so I'm sure he'll rest up tonight, get some ice on it, and see where it fronts tomorrow. I don't know. It's, we just, we're going to have to get these two wickets first. And I think once we get them, we can work out where the game's at. By the end of tomorrow, we, sh we should work out what sort of position the game's in and where we can go. We, we could possibly take it. It's going to take some partnerships. Um, but it's definitely in the tank. And as you said, we're relentlessly positive and we're going to have to use all of that again tomorrow and the day after that. Hello, please. Thank you, Tim. Um, can, can you just talk us through the reaction of the change room to the, I mean, I mean, most, most of the players are out on the field, but I think it's quite a picture of you guys reacting to players. Uh... <laughs> well, a little bit of amazement, a little bit, you know, as I said, written in the stars, a lot of people laughing. Um, it, it was, it's quite funny because he came on to bowl I suppose when the English crowds are waking up, aren't they? You know, they're, they're flicking on the TV and the first thing they see is Ben Stokes coming to bowl and he bowls, as I said, a really good delivery to Roach Sharma. So there was a lot of that banter flying around the room, but it's so nice to see him back. Um, he's got better and better with his bowling skills over the tour. So that's, that's a huge positive for us. There's a lot of cricket to be played this year, so it'll be nice to have him back at the crease, but... It's slowly but surely, if I'm being honest with you. It's just, I said, as I said, it's exciting to see him support Jimmy, Woody, Bash, Hearts, Ruti in, in a game, in a day like today, where it's, it is hard slot. And if you just talk us through your decision for him to bowl at that exact moment, because Joe used to talk about it being possible to get the ball out of his hand and he was captain, did Ben just kind of say at the lunch, oh, right, this is the moment I'm going to do it? Do you know what? I'd love to answer that, but I wasn't there for the conversation, so... Um, I, I reckon he's just said, look, he's probably said, look, I'll, I'll take these first four overs, five overs now, give Woody some time to rest up and then come back. But, um, I mean, it's magical, wasn't it? <laughs> and, and just finally, it's like a different note. Sherbyshire, particularly with Tom Hartley, who I've plugged away today and shared quite a few wickets in the end. Do you, do you look at those guys and think that you do have, you know, genuine options now at home to be your, when, when you go back to, you know, probably a one spin do you, do you think those guys, and particularly show, actually, are ready to do that job? Kind of Look, I know what I think. The question is probably for you guys. Do you think he's good enough? Like, I, I certainly think he's fantastic. You know, he's the the spin that he can access, whether it's overspin, side spin. Don't get me wrong. He's twenty and he's got some overs to bowl yet. You know, he's going to he's got to have to keep learning, and that curve's going to have to keep going up. But what he's done in the three test matches he played here is he's certainly showed that. Um, the willingness to learn, the willingness to do the hard graft, you know, the partnership bowling for him and Tom, the work in the outfield, even the stuff with his batting. There is, there's a, a real sense of a, a young kid who wants to 
and I say a young kid because he, you talk to him as if like he's still playing in the backyard with his mates, you know, and that's what we want out of a out of a show of share, and that's what we want out of a Tom Hartley, because we know that's when we'll get the best out of them. And I think they had a lot of fun today. They are both very tired, but they were still both giving each other's high fives and and having some banter in the change room. So it's it's great to see two young kids taking on India in India um, and having some success. Uh, Vish and then Paul, please. Go ahead, Vish. I have no idea because I, I wanted to ask, but I forgot about it. I'll, probably, I'll ask when I get back, but I've got no idea what it is about me. I'm sorry. Um, one of the things that was noticeable about Bashir today, 